The majority of violations in the photos from 2016 show goats that are severely underweight. Some have hooves so long the goats can't walk easily. Barns and feeding areas are soaked in rainwater and manure. Their photos the USDA initially refused to release. The U.S. Department of Agriculture said, and I quote, that it would cause embarrassment for Pi Bioscientific if the photographs of their violations tormenting animals were released. Delciana Winders is Deputy General Counsel for PETA, People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals. The group filed an appeal and won, now making the photos public. It comes just as the facility's owner, Pi Bioscientific, canceled its license and closed down the barns. In a statement to King, the company's chief and food safety expert, Mansoor Samadpour, writes, the goats in question were purchased from auction and rescued from slaughter. The assertion that they were neglected or abused is absurd. The goats were always well-fed, older ones were just old and would not gain weight. The facility was not cited for neglecting one animal or a few animals. They were cited over and over again for neglecting dozens of animals, more than half of the animals in their care. And these animals were emaciated, they had diarrhea, and they had hooves so severely overgrown over a long period of time that they couldn't even walk properly. That doesn't happen overnight. Samadpour says the research has ended and the animals were given away. In Seattle, I'm Allison Morrow, King 5 News.